Apple. What is going on guys, Greg Frick here, and in this video we are going to be talking about Nick Foles to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, of course there's been many reports of this move that's going to be happening now, of course. The Eagles did not franchise tag or try to pursue Nick Foles at all. So it's very much looking that the Jaguars are in high pursuit of trying to get Nick Foles and are the basically the lone runners in this. So it looks like this will be most likely a certain thing. I'm not going to make another video on this if, when he does sign unless he signs with somewhere else, surprisingly. But I think the fact that so far it's going to be the Jacksonville Jaguars and if we can look at his stats from the previous two seasons, we see the fact that he's pulled off some amazing games in the absence of Carson Wentz and being thrown into the team mid-season, basically. So we have him getting around 12 touchdowns, six interceptions, and around 1,900 yards. And of course, whenever we really look at the fact that you know, he can perform at this level, of course, he's also six and two in those games, but the playoffs is where we really see him pursuing off to another level now his efficiency is just so great as far as the completion of passes that he does make of course 11 touchdowns five interceptions through his five playoff games and of course one being a Super Bowl championship run where he ended up getting Super Bowl MVP but whenever we really look at this is this going to be a major change for the Jacksonville Jaguars that's the main thing here now Whenever we saw Blake Bortles last season, it looked like the team basically gave up, at least defensively, on him, and we're not at that same high enough level. But the really crazy thing about this is, despite the fact that they did have games where it looked like their defense just didn't show up, they still were a pretty decent defensive team. And very much, many people forget about that. It's that lacking of offense, and something that Nick Foles, I think, is really gonna add to this team is just that extra added effort into it. He, brings something extra to the team due to his success that he's had and I think the fact when he goes to the Jacksonville Jaguars it is going to help that defense even more by giving them that extra energy knowing the fact that they have a quarterback that's done what he's done in this league so whenever we saw the fact that Carson Wentz was coming back from the ACL injury we saw the fact that the defense on the Eagles team was not as good as whenever Nick Foles went up. So when we saw Nick Foles going up, we saw the fact that the defense stepped up. And I think the same thing is going to happen whenever we see him joining Jacksonville. As that team has a very great defense, very young, and you don't want to waste it. I thought it was very strange that the Jacksonville Jaguars didn't pursue anybody before this. But whenever we really look at this, we're going to see right here the fact that the Jacksonville's defense was fourth in points allowed at 19.8 points per game. Now, yes, it was less than last season, but we have to look at the fact that they had a divisional schedule. So they had the toughest schedule, a tougher schedule this year than they did last year, and they still maintained to be coming fourth in points allowed. So we're considering the fact that this is really good. And whenever we look at last time, the year before, they were only third and averaging around 17 points a game allowed. So we're really seeing the fact that this defense can step up, and I think the fact that it will be a big role here. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are on this. Do you think that Nick Foles will be a good fit for the Jacksonville Jaguars? And if so, leave it in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to my part of the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta.